guys, what's happening? I'm Billy Wingrove, he's Jeremy Lynch, and we are the F2. And you're watching Talk Norwich City. How? Hey, what's going down, guys? Talk Norwich City here, back for another video. I'm joined with Chris again. Chris, how are you, man? I'm good, how are you, Jack? Good, yeah, awesome. Um, we went to you guys on Twitter, I've got my Twitter up on my phone now, and asked what players you guys want to sign in the summer transfer window. Now, we got a lot of responses. So the first one is Andrew Lorne at Lorne. He said Moussa Dembele, one of the top players in the Prem and massively underused last year. Moussa Dembele, would you want to sign him? Yeah, I mean, I totally agree with him. Yeah. Um, you know, he, he is massively underestimated yeah. and uh, highly rated, isn't he, as well? So yeah, definitely, if we can afford him, that's for sure. That's a great shout, yeah. Um, Oliver Carr, now this is one I really like. Bakary Sacco from Wolves. Uh, he said he, doubt, we, he doubts we'll be able to clinch him though. Now, Bakary Sacco, I know, has been linked with fellow Midlands clubs, so like the likes of Villa, uh, West Brom as well. Yeah. Sacco though, what a player he could be. We, we need a left winger, don't we? He's an absolute beast yeah. as well. Absolute beast. And I think that, you know, let, if we commit to players like that, that people think, no, I just won't be able to sign yeah. him. If we get a big signing like that, that can make all the difference yeah. to us next season. So, again, if we have the money, if we have the funds, let's do it because Definitely. he could be vital. Definitely. Tom Riley, uh, he said John Guidetti from Man City. Uh, he's just been released. Strong player who holds up the ball very well. Different option to what we have. Now, I know we've been linked with him already. Yeah. That rumour seems to have faded, but a possibility, isn't it, Guidetti? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a free agent, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, so, as well. Um, yeah, he's young, he's a free agent. Um, I'm not sure his attitude is in the right place, but he will want to prove a point. Now again, it's the thing about have we got too many strikers? I don't know. But for free, surely you'd take him on as a score player. Definitely, yeah, I'd take him. Um, Yellow here on Twitch. I think he's playing a joke here, but he said Tyrone Mings and Daryl Murphy, good backup players. Don't even, don't even ask me that question. Let's Shocking not go there. Him. Shocking. Um, James Mitchell. He also said Bakary Sacco. This yeah. is another one who really interests me, but I don't think we'll get him. It's Charlie Austin. He go. Yeah. He, he sort of fits into that. A resume that, that Dave McNally wants. English, proven, big money, yes. Yeah. But we've got the money, haven't we? Well, well, what is stopping us from attracting these players? Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, I think it's just purely down to will Charlie Austin try and hold off for a bigger move to maybe a club of a similar stature to either Southampton yeah. or Tottenham. Someone in the, the European spots, obviously, he'll be looking at Danny Ings and thinking, hang on a minute, maybe I'm better than these types mm. of clubs that have just come up. But you know what, if he's not going to get a deal to them, then I think that the Premier League will attract him. Definitely. I don't think QPR will be able to bounce back again, no. so hopefully we'll see him. Yeah, um, I think that's a great shout, Charlie Austin. Another one, uh, Jordan Rhodes from Blackburn. Um, is that a possibility? I've, I've fallen out of love with yeah. him. I've lost interest. I think, you know, in the Championship, yeah, potentially, but I think Graban has absolutely aced his role in the team yeah. and I don't think we need Jordan Rhodes yeah I mean that was mentioned by OTBC UK he also said Curtis Davis from Hull a that's back a good shot tall. That's yeah good I mean I did I was speaking to a Hull fan though and he said he was all, he was awful last season really so, okay, that's interesting but we do need defenders don't we so, we were originally in for him after defensive king Chris Hewton so <laughs> correct you yeah. know, might be worth a shout I mean I'm going to end on this one I think this is probably one of the best uh, suggestions we've had is from Bring It On Down. He said, "Would give my right bollock for Alex Pritchard, perfect <laughs> replacement for Wes Houlihan." Okay. I mean, I'm going to end it there. Pritchard, I think, was the best player, opposition player at Carrow last season. Wes Houlihan, sad to say it, but he is on his last legs, isn't he? Yeah, I think he'll probably last another couple of seasons though. Hopefully, yeah. I love Wes. In this Premier sense. League, sort of congested fixtures and everything yeah. he hasn't got much you at least need backup for him so. Tottenham I doubt they're going to be playing Pritchard that much next season they're going to want to loan him out probably Premier League he's going to be in our Good team move. week in week yeah, out definitely definitely. Yeah. I mean is there any other people you want I mean we might have already signed some of these players once this video had come out but is there any players that uh, might be in the European sort of radar that we don't know about leave them in the comments and also tweet us and I will see you in the next video